Well, I'm uh, back here again with a couple of things that I think move the failed state story along. Uh, one was a uh, news item today that a, a professor at the uh, university here in Latvia has um, done a study uh, which indicates that there is going to be a massive wave of emigration uh, from all three Baltic countries, Latvia included, uh, as a result of uh, the improvement of the economy in the outside world, in Western Europe and in other places, uh, where the recovery from the present recession will probably be quicker than here. Um, this means uh, that uh, Latvians will be going again to Britain and Ireland and possibly other European countries, although Britain and Ireland are the ones most easily um, moved to because English is a very common second language, whereas Swedish or German or such are not uh, as commonly spoken, even among young people. Um, and uh, the job prospects, of course, in neither of these countries are going to be very uh, good in the near future. Uh, but they're certainly going to be better than here in Latvia, and uh, indeed there are going to probably be restrictions in many EU countries on the arrival of a third party, so-called third party nationals, uh, from outside the EU. Uh, so in a sense, uh, there will be certain priority for <clears throat> the Latvian and other Baltic uh, uh, job seekers. What, um, of course, was far more disturbing that I read today was an article uh, by a Latvian political scientist uh, called Ivars Iabs. Uh, he was writing on a website called www.politica.lv, uh, and the article had the very interesting title of Failed State Latvia with a question mark. Um, in Latvian, but using the English words failed state and spelling Latvia, Latvia, the way it's spelled in Latvian. Um, and uh, believe me, he went a lot further than, than I have in any of my writings or even in these uh, video blogs in predicting a massive state failure here within the foreseeable future. Uh, street crime, uh, the retreat of the ruling elite and the, the wealthier the very small wealthier class to uh, gated communities guarded by private guards as the police uh, uh, disintegrate, uh, a complete disintegration of health care, uh, the education system falling apart, Latvia turning into something like uh, Brazil in terms of income distribution and uh, uh, taking on other characteristics of the more disturbing and harsher kinds of failed states uh, that we see in Africa. Um, the other news today, which is that the government is still pondering how to make some extremely severe budget cuts for this year, and even more severe cuts for 2010, um, all of that <laughs> seems to indicate that uh, if uh, we don't uh, reach the state of government bankruptcy or government insolvency that a lot of people are predicting for this summer, that uh, we will see the uh, disintegration of essentially most public services because of the extremely deep budget cuts for which uh, no prior analysis or preparation has been made. It's not that theoretically one could not reduce bureaucracy in Latvia. I was just told that uh, the work of the Latvian National Film Board, which is done by 21 people, and the Latvian uh, Culture Capital Fund, which I don't know how many people work there, is done by a total of seven people performing both functions, that is running the national film financing system, and uh, the government grants to certain cultural activities uh, in all of Estonia by with just seven people, with uh, a third of the staff that run these, just the film 
function in Latvia. So there is a lot that could be cut, but this has to be planned. There has to be an analysis of what uh, kinds of uh, functions are unnecessary, what are the, the real efficiencies or inefficiencies of certain government agencies and functions, and that takes a long time to do. That has to be done so that one does not uh, use an axe and chop away uh, uh, true uh, useful talent uh, among people working for the public sector, and at the same time that one does not cut uh, the kind of funding that increases the efficiency of the public sector, even if it appears to be rather uh, uh, expensive, such as uh, e-government and, and, and um, that sort of thing that allow people to uh, uh, get a lot of essential dealings with the government done on the internet, rather than having bureaucrats uh, do it at their convenience and during their office hours. Uh, it costs money, but the investment would pay off, and that, that sort of stuff is going to get axed. And then we hear about some completely irrational stuff going on here, such as a, a tender for uh, actually packaging uh, basic uh, kind of subsistence food for uh, the poorest segment of the population in Latvia. There was a tender out for that to put together a package of, uh, of uh, various uh, uh, staple foods including uh, oatmeal. Uh, and the lowest bidder, the, the company that submitted the lowest bid uh, at least according to the press, had misspelled a certain Latvian conjugation of the word for oatmeal. And as a result, there was an error, according to the committee evaluating the, the tender submissions, there was a, a, a significant error in the way the documents were prepared because of this misspelling of the word oatmeal. And this bid lost, and a bid that was one million lats, or almost two million dollars more expensive for this program to put together a, a kind of a food uh, package for for the needy. Uh, this this one out, and a million lats, or almost two million dollars, are now going to be spent. Uh, rather than saved because of a misspelling of the word oatmeal. Now this is of course being appealed to an authority that oversees public tenders and public procurement, um, but um, uh, that uh, being now a subject of administrative dispute, the uh, agency that issued the tender, which I think is under the Ministry of Welfare here in Latvia, has refused to comment other than to say that the misspelling of oatmeal was not the only thing that was wrong with these documents um, that were submitted with the tender, and uh, they think it's okay to spend uh, another almost two million dollars uh, simply because somebody didn't spell oatmeal and maybe made a few other clerical errors in their submission. This is the way this country runs. So maybe it is no surprise that another day brings another set of news and circumstances that all point to uh, Latvia literally going to hell in a handcart within the foreseeable future.